Get ready for tomorrow. Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. I want to talk to you guys about AMC stock and about the stock market. AMC has tomorrow its quarterly earnings plus its yearly meeting. What will happen with the price of AMC and what is going on with the stock market? I thought it was supposed to crash, but now it's going up again. <laughs> uh, we'll see what happens there. All I ask is that you give me a beautiful smile smash that like button and let's get straight into it real quick i want to remind you guys about our partner mumu that gives you 15 free stocks once you sign up using my link in the description down below you can trade stocks you can trade options if you're in the us canada or australia check it out i'll get a bit commission so thank you for that so amc went down today 6.67 percent now after market it's going up a little bit very interesting movement today, of course, another day of AMC moving more than 5% intraday. Uh, it sold off on the opening, you know, big sell-off. We've seen this kind of movement from AMC previously. Uh, the past few days, it had seen the sell-off towards the end of the day. Uh, now we saw it straight off the bat. People were taking risk off the table, maybe. I don't know. Um, Jumping off of the 1039 resistance area, bouncing back up to 1079. And then towards the end of the day, slowly selling off a little bit. But the whole market, I, if I uh, remember correctly, uh, started selling off. No, no, here a little bit, but it bounced back. So uh, I was mistaken on my, my memory, uh, uh, <laughs> mistaken me, right? Uh, we didn't see a sell off here, but into earnings could be that people were taking profit because earnings. You don't know what's going to happen. We'll talk about the earnings preview in just a second, but you don't know basically what's going to happen earnings. Sometimes earnings are real good, but the price has gone up, right? And, and weeks prior to the earnings, uh, and then you see a little bit of a pullback. Here, AMC uh, has gone up uh, from the, the low that we had seen at 730, around 45%, right? Uh, or 35%, zoom in, right, to, to the... Here it says 40%, right? So from the low, it's up 40%. Uh, but it did sell off after the stochastic full hit the top. And if you've been watching the videos, you know that I said that AMC has a tendency once it hits the top, like it did last time when it hit this area, right? Oh, back over here, hit the top of the stochastic full, pull back a little bit. Now hit again, pull back a little bit into earnings. It'd be interesting to see what happens uh, tomorrow um you know the day because earnings are after the close um there's the meeting prior to that uh so it'd be interesting to see what happens uh, for that it came out we'll talk about the stock market in just a second but it came out recently that short selling has been banned in south korea and stocks had a huge jump uh with their biggest jump since 2020. now this is interesting scenario if one day the u.s will ban short selling the market will go bananas right because monumental amount of money is funneled into short selling right um and if you think about it short selling is kind of i understand why it exists right <laughs> but the fact is that you'd want just buying and selling you know, the IOU kind of sense of short selling is kind of devious, right? And so if you want to pull out bad actors from the, the market, that's the way to do it. Furthermore, if you short a stock and it goes to zero, it's capped. So if it's $10, it goes to zero, it's capped. But it can 10x or 100x from $10, right? So, you know, going long, theoretically, on a good company is a lot better, right? But Sometimes there are bad companies. <laughs> let's, let's not beat around the bush. Uh, there are some very bad companies that uh, steal money from investors. Uh, and so um, I understand why they're short selling uh, to, to kind of give balance to the market, but I don't like it. And I've never shorted a stock. I have bought puts, but I haven't shorted a stock uh, in, in my uh, trading career. So the S&P 500 continues to rise. Uh, currently at 4,380. If we zoom out a little bit, we can see that very interestingly, the the trend is not yet broken, but the stock market did 
uh, finish a little bit over the level it was here we're seeing the pullback and potentially my prediction right for an end of the year uh all-time high is getting closer and closer although the stochastic full if we take a look and then we'll zoom back in uh has hit the top right so it's kind of tricky uh the stochastic full can stay the upper level for a while um but like if tomorrow we have a red day, I wouldn't be surprised, right? Let's just say it like that, right? After multiple days of, you know, green, right? And to the all-time high, it's only 9.52%. So my, my prediction isn't that far off, right? 10% in a month, I mean, two months actually. Well, a month, yeah, two months, a month, a month in a few weeks. It's not off the table, especially if you have an end-of-the-year rally in the December. I mean, it could still happen, right? 5,000, eh. 5,000, a little bit uh, higher there. 5,000 would be like 12, 13%. I mean, it could happen. Still could happen. That would be 11.42. So maybe my 5,000 prediction will happen as well. Uh, but I'm, I'm going on the low end of the prediction. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a downward trend here. If you put the, if you put parallel, where's the parallel? Parallel channel. Right, and I'm terrible at this. Oh no, no, I did it wrong. You have the <laughs> you have to do it like this. This then here we go. And then like this. Right? It seems that these oh well we could oh now I messed it up. <laughs> Technical difficulty time, right? You have to do it like this. Right? And then this was the outer one right here. You could say, if you look at it like this, right, that uh, the market broke out of that parallel downward trend that it was in and broke out a few days ago, right, with breaking over the 4,300 resistance as well. Um, so that could give a positive note. If we look at the fear and greed index, we can see that we're still in fear, right? So it's still at a 41, right? We were extreme fear a few weeks ago. Um, but the market is doing pretty good. I mean, <laughs> we're still in extreme fear, right? And the VIX, the VIX is telling us extreme, you know, greed, right? It's not at 11 to 12 like it was a few weeks ago, um, but 14 is pretty low on the VIX, meaning that people are loading up on call options, right? So it'll be interesting to see what happens here with, with the market. Even Apple that, like, you know, when it came out with earnings, it was down after market uh, is now back to 181, back to, you know, level. Of course, it's not here at 195, but, you know, it's getting close. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what potentially will happen there. Let's talk about the AMC earnings uh, tomorrow. Uh, you know, after Barbie Hammer, it's already like we already forgot about it, right? Uh, but crucial quarter three results could signal shift from meme frenzy to mainstream. Uh, this is the article. That's what it says here. Um, the oh, there's so many ads here. <laughs> um, third quarter, right? Um, AMC. Right, I'm looking for the, the numbers here. Here we go. What is the expected? The low estimate is a loss of $0.32 cents per share, while the most optimistic projection is a loss of $0.21. Cents. In previous quarter, quarter two, AMC surpassed earnings expectations, reporting EPS of $0.08 cents compared to an expected loss of $0.36 cents per share. Despite the negative figure, this would represent notable you know, uh, uh, improvement of approximately 85%. Now, we know that AMC had good earnings in the second quarter beat uh, by 85% the expectations. But of course, we had the whole reverse stock split and everything that happened after that, and the massive uh, selling that occurred there. It says you're a surprise of 124%, uh, actually, according to this uh, trading, trading view graph. Um, you know, the, the sell off um, prior to the reverse split, uh, earnings didn't really affect, right? We had earnings and then. We had the reverse split and it sold off, you know, significantly prior post earnings, right? About 88%. Um, so it was a significant drop off. Um, the question now is if earnings are really good, right? Because Barbie Hammer, right? That open Barbie Hammer, that's what it was called. Uh, and there was, you know, massive amounts of ticket sales and concession sales and popcorn sales. The question is more 
I think that the numbers could be good, but many times what affects the price is what the CEO projects going forward. So if Adam comes out and he's projecting there's going to be some difficulty because of the actor's strike, then the stock could react poorly. And if he says, listen, now we this quarter we do have uh, Taylor Swift, but some of the other movies haven't been so great. Um, you know, October is usually a slow month, but we did have uh, Taylor Swift, so we have October. And we have November into Thanksgiving and Christmas. You know, people do go to the movies during the winter, uh, but... You know, there are some interesting movies coming out. Uh, um, uh, the what's it called with the the uh, <laughs> the Hunger Games like movie, I think, and uh, a Marvel movie. So it'd be interesting to see what the numbers are. It's nothing too big. It's not like you know the hype that we saw before Barbie Hammer, uh, but it could be a very uh, nice quarter also for fourth quarter. So we'll have to wait and see, but earnings will be interesting. Uh, we'll see the popcorn numbers and in general, what will happen here? Um, you know, can AMC go up um, significantly tomorrow and cut off this loss? Potentially, yes, people could be buying prior to earnings. Earnings are a coin flip. So I don't know what's going to happen because we don't know. Are they going to miss? Are they going to not miss? Um, or, uh, what is the CEO going to say? Earnings is always a gamble. So, you know, gamble responsibly, right? Because <laughs> um, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm not a prophet, um, but it will be interesting to see uh, what will happen here with AMC. Still have my position. Uh, again, my portfolio in general is almost back to all time highs. But, you know, it fell off a little bit. Um, more than 10. 12% maybe, something around that level from the high. Uh, now it's it's creeped back 4 or 5%. So it'll be interesting to see how how high or can it create a new all-time high. If the market creates a new all-time high, I'll probably, I'll probably get there as well. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens here in the next few weeks. Uh, what do you think is going to happen? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, Let's make a lot of money.